Hearthstone time capsule that was made nine years ago. Nine years. Anyone else feel old? I feel old as shit. Seeing that the game is fresh out of beta, I thought we could do our own capsule and open it next year. So the date of this is April 15th, 2014. Let's see what Hearthstone was like in 2014, shall we? There are currently nine classes, mage, hunter, shaman, paladin, rogue, priest, warlock, warrior, and druid. In 2023, there are 11 classes. We had Demon Hunter and Death Knight. The most common seen decks and ranked. Reading these out loud is going to really hurt me. I just want everyone to know. Zoo Warlock. Zoo Warlock actually has stuck around for a, quite a while. It hasn't really seen any play recently, but archetypes have been around of the Zoo Warlock deck. Watcher Druid. What the hell is Watcher Druid? I don't even remember what this is. Asian Watcher. Okay, so it's with like the, the taunt. Okay, I see. Oh, so it's just like basically Druid. Oh, I completely forgot. This is before combo druid was a thing because people didn't know what combo druid was until after or basically at the world championship the first time for hearthstone so i guess this was like the original druid oh my god ancient watcher sun fury protector sentient shield master man it's pretty standard like a couple cards were changed as people realized that savage or force of nature was really really good rush hunter kind of falling behind i don't know what rush hunter is either what is this <laughs> That's not what that is. Rush Hunter is in Face Hunter. Oh, Aggro Hunter is might be the most iconic deck in Hearthstone. What do you guys think about that? It actually might be the most iconic deck of all time. And then Control Warrior, yeah, it's still around. Not great, but still around. Handlock and Giant's Lock. This was my second favorite deck of all time for the record. Shrivala Paladin's my favorite. This has kind of come back a little bit. There are currently no black heroes in Hearthstone in 2014. There is black heroes in Hearthstone. Now there's Temzin. There's also Bob. I'm sure I'm missing a couple of them, but they have added black heroes in Hearthstone. There are three humans, Mage Paladin. Paladin Priest, four Orcs, Shaman Warrior, Warlock, and Hunter, and one Blood Elf Rogue, and one Night Elf Druid. There's two Night Elves. What the hell is Death Knight? Is Death Knight? Death Knight's like an undead human. Each class has 25 class specific cards. Class totals 225. How many cards do you think a specific class has now? If I have to take a guess, let's just take a peek. We'll go to Warlock. 328. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. All the classes combined when Hearthstone was first released at 225. For one class now, there's 328. That's crazy. There are 157 class neutral cards. Total 382 collectible. How many neutral cards do you think there is? There's like... If there's 300 per class around there, there's at least 1,500, right? 1,333. And the total Hearthstone cards right now is 4,478. Give or take a couple because some of them are like core set cards. So there, there's multiple of some, but oh my God, man. In standard, there's a thousand. Jesus Christ. Christ. And we don't even have the full expansion or all six expansions in the game yet. Each class has one legendary. All right, we'll go to Warlock again. Warlocks are control. 53, 36 legendaries in classic. There's 53 legendaries per class at the moment. Can I name all the original class ones? There's Grom, Velen, Alakir, Lord Jaraxxus, Cenarius, Antonitis. What's the rogue one? Edwin, Hunter had Savannah Highmain, but it was King Crush. Who am I missing? Paladin. Who was Paladins? Paladins was... Oh, Tyrion. God, I'm fucking old. Holy shit. Game in general, there are currently four boards. Ogamar, Pandarian, Stormwind, and Stranglethorn Vale. I don't even know how many boards there are in Hearthstone currently, man. Boards? <laughs> Board space? Uh, game boards? Battlefield. There are 33 in the game. Is there a full list? Dude, look at like, Dude, it's like a blast from the past. It's just one for expansion. All right, guys. Okay. It's cool to look at. There are currently four game modes. Casual, Arena, Ranked, and Practice with Adventure Mode just being announced. Okay, so there's Standard, Casual, Wild, Duels, Battlegrounds, Mercenaries, Arena, Cavern Brawl, Solo Mode. Am I missing any? Twist. There's 10. There's 10! Dungeon Run. I, I just counted them all under like the solo mode. List of current servers to do. Can't check now, but feel free to add this list in the comments. I believe it's still the same, right? There's Asia Pacific. There's NA. There's EU. I guess China's no longer there, right? China was cut. Features to be added soon. I don't think there's any features to be added soon, right? Like they haven't really teased anything. I guess there's like new updates all the time for the game. So like this is kind of hard to really talk about. Competitive. We are currently season one of ranked with the Pedarian card back to be given to people who reach rank 20. What rank season are we in? Cardbacks? What are we in? Is this it? Chat, did you guys know that Titanic is a card back? Does anyone know what season we are on Hearthstone? Does anyone have any idea? It'd be one season for every month. And then the game's been out for almost 10 years. So it's like in the hundreds, 192. All right, popular streamers and pros. All right, Kriparian. Rip is still around. A battleground streamer more than anything else, which is the auto battle format of Hearthstone. You guys remember when Crip used to do Arena? What's the first Hearthstone video he did? Man, Crip really hasn't aged at all, man. He kind of looks the, almost the exact same. It's kind of sick. Everything about keyboards, poggers. Damn, he did so much before Hearthstone. 
His first video was the Hearthstone announcement. You guys want to watch this video? I kind of want to watch it. Did he rip like a huge bong toke before this video? Like, uh, Raynad. Raynad actually was live a little bit ago. He was talking about, I was watching him before I started the stream. Uh, Raynad is not playing Hearthstone anymore unless he's on my channel, I'm pretty sure. He is currently making his own game called The Bazaar, which if you guys want to check it out, it is right here. Not sponsored, but I am excited to play it. I'm hoping it's it's going to be great. He just announced recently, I think it was yesterday, actually, that it, the game should come out in 2014, even though he has told us for many years that it'll be coming out. So expect this game to be released 2030, 2035, somewhere around there. I'm not really sure yet. Trump! Trump is still kicking, chat. He is still around. He actually hasn't streamed in a while, though. Uh, his last video actually was six days ago, and a brand new expansion just came out. His oldest video being... Prison Trump plays Hearthstone. But Trump, yeah, Trump was one of the, basically the founding fathers of Hearthstone. He is still around. Uh, Hafu, Hafu is still around as well. I don't know sure if she's streaming yet, but she definitely still streams daily. I don't think she posts Hearthstone content anymore. She used to be like a very, like she used to be one of the best arena players in the game. Yeah, so she's Hearthstone Esports. Is this constructed? Yeah, she was playing. Wait, is this constructed? It's tough to tell. This looks like, no, it's arena, right? This is arena. She doesn't play arena anymore, but she does play BGs. I wonder if she posts any BGs. Yeah, she kind of does. She plays a different bunch of different card games though. Yeah, she's currently playing BGs with Dog, uh, who is she is now married to. So they both play BGs together and it's kind of nice. Uh, so she's slow around. Kalento is MIA. I don't know. The last time Kalento streamed was seven years ago. I don't know if he had a YouTube channel. I think he did, right? He did. Wait, he played two, he played three years ago. Man, Kalento had an interesting arc, man. He doesn't really play anymore though, as far as I'm concerned. He's still regarded as one of the best Hearthstone players of all time, as far as I'm concerned. Artosis. Artosis, I think, is still, like, Artosis moved back to StarCraft, didn't he? He came to Hearthstone for a little bit. I'm not really sure what Artosis is up to. Anyone know what Artosis is up to? He's still casting StarCraft? Yeah, so he's still a StarCraft player, okay. Noxus, I'm not really sure what Noxus is up to. I think his YouTube channel is still around. Um, hey, there's me. Thanks for watching, by the way, chat. Shout out to you guys. Does he post anything? Three weeks ago. So he's he what he is still playing video games. He's still creating content, kind of. With his oldest video being Workshop Pilot Neutral Anti-Secret Options. What is that? But yeah, he doesn't really make Hearthstone content anymore, as far as I'm concerned. He kind of moved on. Amaz. Amaz is actually still around chat. Oh, so he must have changed his name to just Amaz. Yeah, there he is. Amaz is alive. Amaz is alive right now. Uh, he still makes content. He doesn't play Hearthstone at all, as far as I'm concerned. He's mainly a Slay the Spire streamer, but he also just plays a variety of different games. Amaz is basically chilling. This was the most popular streamers at the time. Chat, who would you say the most popular streamers are currently? Trump is still there. Rip is definitely still there. Savitz is there. Forsen, Tice is still around. Yeah, Tice is huge. Uh, RDU is still around. I guess me. Yeah, I'm here. Forsen doesn't really, Forsen's around, but he doesn't play. Ali's still around. Raffle's around. Regis is around. Dog is around. Yeah, Dog's probably the biggest one. I think the biggest streamer in terms of just strictly numbers is Dog. Dog gets the most because he, he's like the best at Battlegrounds, right? Kibler's still around. Yeah, Kibler's, I'm surprised Kibler wasn't here, but I guess Kibler came after. Misk, Milhouse isn't considered the best card in the game yet. <laughs> I got news for you, buddy. It is now. Unleash the Hounds is a two mana card? Was Unleash the Hounds a two mana card at release? It's three mana now, but I don't, I guess it was. I don't remember. Man, Hunter must have been broken with Starving Buzzard at two. Shadow Form is not viable in most cases. Well, actually, Shadow Form did get better because of this card. This card basically allowed Shadow Form to be viable, and it was actually a tier one meta deck for quite some time because of this card alone. Uh, I think they're specifically talking about, if we're talking about the spell purely, it's still not good. I thought it was three mana classic. Yeah, they buffed it. They tried to make it work, but it just, it never worked out. So uh, this the card itself is actually just horrible. Uh, today's R slash, oh my God, there's an image. Oh my God, I can't wait to see this. No way, dude, I'm so excited to see this. No, it's so blurry though. Oh my God, I'm gonna try to read this the best I can. AMA request for Raynad, Dragon Priest, my Legend Shadow Form Priest deck. I took a stab at making a monk class. My apologies, the curse of Nax Ramus. Something about rock, paper, scissors. Who needs skill when you have RNG? That's still relevant today. To me, Warlock Zoo is like, I can't read that. Suggestion card back at 12 wins. I've never seen as many characters laughing in the same game. Legend are just kind of legend rank one with only 140 hunter wins. Mosquito buzzing at night. What the fuck? How did you just read that? Warlock Sue is like mosquito buzzing at night. Oh my God. Uh, Crypt proves Hearthstone is 100% a skill game. Alakir or Ragnaros for Shaman. Being able to see my opponent's mulligan decision. Oh my God. I remember in the old days of Hearthstone, you used to be able to see when your opponent, opponent mulliganed while you were mulliganing. So you could like legitimately wait to see what they did. Um, and they took that out. 
uh my two favorite pieces of pax 2014 swag discussion what epic and rare rares are worth well for the dust to craft rag or karen for arena i'd pick karen karen's goaded in arena i'm pretty sure um best and cheapest like really deck to progress in hearthstone funny and lucky moments this is trolled oh my god trolled it hearthstone with eye tracking hog better quest names let me know what you think hearthstone top five plays of the week did i miss any of these i wish i wish these were in full view and i'm sure if we went hard enough we can actually see the post but this is this is a blast from the past man what the hell crazy dude okay um all right hearthstone is at 111,244 subscribers okay what are they at now let's take a peek r slash hearthstone in the current year oh imagine um hearthstone has 1.9 million members in the year 2023 what's the hearthstone front page looks like right now let's take a peek let's let's say that over context definitely has been out for almost nine months and still does not have a reward from the tavern regular achievement yeah so in the future of hearthstone when you get uh when you do the tavern pass which is like the new quest system you get like a special skin for each class and death knight being the newest class still doesn't have it after being nine months out which is kind of surprising to be honest ever keeps talking about the hound but dear god this card is so busted uh i want to remind you guys for this card by the way uh when this expansion came out the uh the festival of legends mini set your boy told you that this is the best card from the mini set. I'm just going to put it out there. Now, it, did it end up being the best card from the mini set? I don't know. You can make a case for that hound. This card ended up being pretty good. When the world needed a most. <laughs> so the best deck in the format right now, I should probably mention, is uh, Hound Hunter, for the record. This is the current best deck in the game. And it's basically because of the Hollow Hound card. Um, it's funny that someone wrote destroy a beast <laughs> let's make let's make hearthstone great again great again what the fuck so these are some of the most powerful cards in the game i'm guessing and they're just doing nerfs to it he kind of changed the cards slightly but these are not actually what they are but here we go with the new firestone update you can see all your all-time stats even if you didn't use the overlay before you can also do it on hs replay which is here i don't i've never done that chat i haven't done it yet because i don't have a duck tracker because they're too expensive uh 70 pack fights for one pack so uh one of the soul adventures nowadays is the path of champions what is it called chat it's basically like campaigns of prominent hearthstone characters that you can learn about the lore some of them are really good i haven't played most of them get twitch drops this weekend in the summer championship so there is a master tours coming out uh there is a from the other side shaman deck vicious city kid is one of the best resources to learn about hearthstone and try to get better at the game it also gives you some really good decks um one of the best legendaries released this is what a death knight card looks like in case it's your first time seeing it i don't know if you've ever seen it what's your opinion of this tavern ball uh the current tavern ball right now which we played yesterday was every time you summon a minion they cast a random spell which is basically every single minion is a one spell yog saron people making fun of Biz blizzard the way blizzard makes cards classic um something about hearthstone esports and meaty hearthstone esports in the current year is basically dead in 2014 hearthstone hearthstone esports was extremely popular it was one of the best things about the game so yeah, kind of dead. We just take a moment to appreciate Titans. Uh, Titans is the most recent Hearthstone expansion. Can we take a moment to appreciate Titans? A complaint about Titans? Never change Reddit, never change. HS replays. Oh, we can get like a really good look from every single deck here. So these are like the best decks. Tier one's Hound Hunter. There's tier two. There's tier three. And there's tier four. And then this is top of thousand legends. So the best deck in the game undisputedly. Oh, Outcast Demon Hunter's tier one. Look at that damn this is a nice this is actually a really nice image to see so you get like a nice um concept of like what is actually happening in the game tier i can keep scrolling but i think that's good enough okay um let's see let's see if there's anything else i think more should be added feel free to mention in the comments okay let's see but yeah that's a hearthstone time capsule chat hearthstone has changed quite a bit and hearthstone's almost at their 10 year mark and i wonder what the 10 year is really going to bring for hearthstone if i had to guess it's going to be probably nothing. I would hope it's something insane. It's cool to look back in the past and see that from nine years ago, man. Jesus Christ. I can't believe Hearthstone's been out for 10 years. Also, in case you're curious, if you're thinking about ever coming back to Hearthstone after 10 years, let's say you played it a while ago. Hearthstone's in a pretty good spot. It's much easier to become a free to play player. And there's a lot of fun cards. The developers are still playing the game and trying to make as many cool archetypes as possible. The game is a little bit more crazy and a little bit more power creep, but it's a good game regardless of what chat says.